Hey there, Dominic here with a word about the topology pane in Modo. Uh, now, in this video, I'm not going to completely cover this tool because there is already a lot of useful information out there. First of all, Andy Brown's Spotlight 601 videos. There is a whole video on topology and retopology. So make sure to, when you bought 601 or when you upgraded to 601, to go to your account on Lexology and download the Spotlight videos if you haven't already done so. And I wanted also to show you Richard Yacht has on his YouTube channel a couple of very interesting videos on retopology. So make sure to also watch Richard Yacht's videos on YouTube. You can do a search in YouTube, Richard Yacht, and you will find them. Uh, but I was, what I also wanted to tell you in this video, when you see the manual, then it says retopology works by first having the high resolution mesh as a background element. This may lead to believe that you can only use a topology pen when doing retopology or when you have something in the background to snap to. Well, actually, that's not the case. You can use the topology pen actually as a modeling tool. So right now I have selected the topology pen on the vertex tab and when you see when I click and drag it act kind of acts like an element move tool. And the useful thing about this is this feature inner snap. When I set it to on now when those vertices that I'm dragging when they come near another vertex they snap to it and they merge. So I'm going to drop the tool, going to press the tab key to go to sub D. When I r middle mouse button click and drag, you see I have only one vertex. So they have been snapped and merged. And I use the topology, topology pen a lot like this. So with inner snap on, when I cl click and drag, the vertices snap and they merge. It's kind of drag weld thing like that. So make sure to watch Andy Brown's Spotlight videos and Richard Yacht's videos on YouTube on retopology. And as you can see, you can use the topology pen tool as a modeling tool, not just as a retopology tool with something in the background. Hope you find this useful. This was Dominic. Bye for now.